Hey guys, for today's video, I've really, really been wanting to film a bookshelf tour ever since I kind of reorganized my book room and reorganized my shelves so you can kind of see them behind me. So I'm going to be doing a shelf by shelf, I guess, general tour about all the books that I currently have. I kind of want to do this so I can have like a video log of how my shelves are progressing and how my library is growing. I mean, you can't really call it a library with just two shelves, but in the future, I hope that this room can turn into my own personal library. So I started collecting books in, well, I started collecting books when I was a kid, but I've moved around so much that I wasn't able to really ever keep most of my books. I only had to choose specific ones that I'd be able to bring with me. Um, but now that I bought my own home last year, I can finally settle in and buy all the books that I want. I started buying a lot more books in 2020 and it has definitely grown. I had to buy my first um, bookcase in 2020 and then I had to buy another one the following year because my collection has just kept growing. Um, and I'm thinking that probably sometime this year I'm gonna have to get a third shelf. We shall see. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get into the tour. Okay, so we're starting on the topmost shelf on the left bookcase. So you can see here, I have my Twilight series collection. I've had this since I was in middle school and I have not gotten rid of it because it's kind of nostalgic. But yeah, you can see some of them are hella broken up. Like this Breaking Dawn has been through it. Um, I am definitely a person who loves to lend out my books just because I want other people to get to enjoy them as well. So that's why some of my books are just really beaten up. Um, I also have some other really nostalgic um, series up here. I got the Hunger Games trilogy. Um, this was this particular set is not my first one. It's not the one that I read. I actually received this from my late boss who gave this to me as um, a gift when I got hired at my current company institution. Um, I also have here that I recently got the Vampire Academy series. I read this, I believe, from the library at first, and I recently reread it like a year ago, and I realized I should probably get my own copy. I love this book or this series. Not that it's like anything really great, it's just it's nostalgia. I mean, I'm gonna call it what it is. I also got the Bloodline spin-off series, but to be quite honest, I tried to read the first book and I couldn't get into it. Even though it has like one of my, my favorite characters in there, I just wasn't feeling it, but I don't really want to get rid of it. So I'm holding it until I, you know, gain the motivation to try it again. And yeah, that's that. Moving on down to the next show. Okay, so this shelf also has some nostalgic reads. Uh, I guess we'll just start on the left. I have uh, my Avatar graphic novels. I have about four here, I think. I've got The Lost Adventures, Team Avatar Tales, The Promise, The Rift, Smoke and Shadow and The Search. I'm not really one care when books match. Like I do like it, but Ultimately, it's, I mean, as long as it's the actual book and it's cheap, I'll just get it. So that's why I got a bunch that just don't match. Um, I also have the Witchy series here. Oh my gosh, I love this set of graphic novels. If you guys haven't read this one, I highly recommend it. I also have volume two here. Patiently waiting for volume three. I also have one volume of Monstrous Awakening. I really enjoyed the series. I think I read the rest like up to volume like 14 or something but i read it on ebook so i don't know if i'll collect graphic novels just because there's so many of them but i definitely do highly recommend this one it's very gory very dark if you like that kind of thing you'll enjoy it but i really love this series i've only read through them once so i'm thinking sometime soon i should do a reread um i also have strange the dreamer one of my absolute favorite young adult um, fantasy novels I still recommend it it's one of the best books that I read when I first got back into reading so love that got Strange Dreamer Muse of Nightmares and then I have the spin-off series for 
Shadow and Bone, I got King of Scars and Rule of Wolves. I did enjoy both of these. I actually enjoyed this, these two more than Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. That might be an unpopular opinion, but yes, I do love these ones and the original trilogy more. Oh, and then I didn't mention my knickknacks. I got this snitch from, I did, uh, we had a Christmas party at my work and this is what I received. On to the next shelf. All right, this next shelf is my Brandon Sanderson shelf. I'm still working on getting the rest that I've read, but I have all of the Stormlight books that are currently published, with The Way of Kings, Where's the Radiance, Oathbringer, and Rhythm of War. I absolutely love these bricks. Like seriously, probably the biggest books I own right now. And very nice looking together, I love them. Um, I have this um, mug that I got as a Christmas gift from my godmother a few years ago and I use it to store my bookmarks and also this is the cake topper from my wedding I just put this in here as well because I love it and then I have a whole bunch of bookmarks in there and then I have my mass my ugly mass market paperback editions of the Mistborn trilogy I definitely want to replace these in the future because I absolutely hate reading mass market paperbacks but these will do for now I'm still working on my collection. Oh, I recently got these and I love them. These are like some cute, smaller hardcover editions of Brandon Sanderson's novellas. So I got Dawn Shard and Miss War and the Secret History here. Really love these, they're so cute. And then I also have, I think this is the UK edition, I think, um, of Warbreaker. I actually love these white editions i think they're so much prettier than like for example this u.s edition of the bands of morning i would much rather collect them in this but these are these uk editions are definitely pricier but i'm glad i have it for warbreaker because warbreaker was actually a really good standalone novel and then here i have this random bands of morning edition for this is the third book in the Second Era Mistborn series, and you can see this used to be a library book. I think I purchased this used on Amazon. I actually buy a lot of my books secondhand. That's how I keep myself from feeling too guilty about buying too many books. But yeah, that's my Brandon Sanders Sanderson collection so far. I, it's definitely gonna grow. On to the next shelf. So my next shelf here is my Harry Potter shelf. Yep, got the illustrated editions here. Um, this paperback set with the um with hogwarts and the spines i got as a gift a few years ago love that it's a very sentimental gift um and then these are my hardcover set that i actually read and then on the corner over there i have the fantastic beast um original screenplays so i have those two i still need to get uh the secrets of dumbledore um i have here my wand that i got from harry potter world it's hermione's wand obviously and the last trinket i have on here is um i don't even what is this called it's not a pop socket bunko i don't know i don't know what it is oh it's a posket okay yeah i see it there so this i got from my sister-in-law and it's so cute most of the trinkets I do have, I didn't buy myself. Um, a lot of my family and friends know that I really um, love Harry Potter, so most of my trinkets are gifts. And yep, that's it, moving on to the next one. Okay, I would call this my horror thriller mystery shelf. Uh, I recently got into horror thrillers and mysteries, so it's all still able to fit on one shelf, but it's definitely gonna grow, like in the future. I'm really enjoying getting into this, into these genres. So I have here most of my horrors, um, Hidden Pictures by Jason Rekulak, Good Daughter, Final Girls, um, Into the Drowning Deep, oh my gosh, this is probably my current favorite horror novel, it's a sci-fi horror about mermaids, love that. Um, House of Salt and Sorrows is a young adult horror, um, it's, not too, it's not too scary but it definitely has those creepy vibes, so I love this one also. Then I have I Am Legend. 
Um, here are like my mysteries. So I got a lot of, of oh, not a lot, but a few Agatha Christie's. Murder on the Orient Express, Death on the Nile, and then there are none. Um, and then there are none is definitely my favorite, but I definitely enjoyed all three of them. This is a recent favorite, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. It's a YA mystery, but definitely still a good one. Oh, I really love the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I really love the way the story was told. It kind of feels like you're playing Clue. And then I also read The Inheritance Games this, uh, a few weeks ago. Didn't really enjoy it, but I'm keeping it on here because I feel like I will know some people that would like it. Then here on the right, I have some thrillers. Uh, Never World Wake was a good one. Sadie, um, The Perfect Child and Saving Noah by Lucinda Berry. If you've watched my other videos, you know I love those too. Um, I also like some Lucy Foley. The Guest List was a good one. The Appeal had so much promise, but I didn't really enjoy that one. Uh, Falling was all right. And then I did enjoy The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. I just also have this giant hourglass on my shelf, but it's more of like a 30 minute glass. Yeah. Moving on. So the bottom shelf here is very random. Um, I have some of my husband's books. I've got some logic puzzles, some cooking books, more logic puzzles, um, a dream dictionary. That's probably one of the coolest things I have down here. Uh, what else? These are some books that I'm going to be selling, some uh, religious books. I have some of my books from childhood here and some other kids novels. So I have like these Powerpuff Girls books from when I was a kid. I still have them till now. Um, I also recently, not recently, maybe in the last couple years, got Kiki's Delivery Service. I'm really interested in like reading the stories that Studio Ghibli pulled from when they made their movies. Um, this is another series from childhood, um, Peter and the Starcatchers, it's actually the second book, but I'm slowly working my way through rereading those. I read The School for Good and Evil, didn't really care for that, oh, I really love this one. This graphic novel called Cody, it's about a bear and this little girl, it's so cute. I got this recommendation from Brittany the Bibliophile, and I really, I'm really glad I, I read it, it's a good one. And then the last one there is the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. And I got that recommendation from Murphy Napier on the book. And yeah, this is the bottom shelf that I barely reach for. Okay, we're back on the balancing act for the very top shelf on my bookshelf, a uh, bookcase on the right. I have the Cinder, oh no, sorry, the Lunar Chronicles. Some of you might be very annoyed that none of these match. Well, that's what happens when you buy things used. I really like this series though, so that's why I kept it. Ooh, when I read this, I really loved it. I rated it five stars. Uh, the sticker is very annoying though, but it's Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. The girl the sea gave back. I didn't enjoy this one as much though. Um, I read Throne of Glass, it was okay. Um, How's Moving Castle, I really enjoyed. Like I mentioned earlier, how I really um, enjoy reading the original stories that the Studio Ghibli movies are made out of. So I really enjoyed this book. I definitely tabbed it up. The Last Time Sorrow was okay. I got Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom up here. It's not together with the rest of um, Leo Bardugo's books. I didn't really enjoy these two that much, but I keep them because they're part of the series. I have the, like I mentioned earlier, I really don't like um, mass market paperbacks, but I mean, okay, my camera just rudely cut me off, but I think I was saying how I only got the mass market paperback of Game of Thrones because I've only read the first book so far. So maybe if I read the rest of the series and really like it, then I'll do an upgrade. And then the last book I have up here is Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon. This is probably the only smutty book I have out of my whole collection, but um, I actually kind of like this one. The sci-fi fantasy aspect of it mixed in with the romance. And I now know that I love cinnamon roll um, male love interests. So, moving on down. Okay, this shelf is a bit confusing. It originally started as my sci-fi shelf, but uh, you can probably tell that this end isn't exactly sci-fi. Um, we'll just start over here. So. I read the Jurassic Park 
books one and two and I actually really liked it. Um, if you like sci-fi novels that really feel scientific, like they're not just making crap up, they actually like, did some research and you'll really like this. I liked it just about as much as I like the movies. So I have Jurassic Park and The Lost World. I think I like The Lost World more, surprisingly. Um, I also have A Natural History of Dragons by Marie Brennan. Uh, this is actually a pretty good one, but I haven't continued the series yet. I have another book from junior high. Oh, this is actually out of order. What's going on here? Come on. Let's do a quick, quick reorganization. There we go. So I recently did a reread of this. Uh, probably wasn't the best idea. I have the, oh my gosh, even the Illuminate trilogy is out of order. My bad. Okay, I got Illuminate, Gemini, and Obsidio. I actually really love this trilogy. I try and recommend it to a lot of people, but I think the mixed media aspect probably throws them off a little. I mean, it really, when I say mixed media, it really is. Um, I read Renegades um, at the, towards the end of last year. Didn't really like it, but I still keep the book here because... I mean, I love um, Marissa Meyer's other series that I talked about, Cinder, or The Lunar Chronicles, but I tried to give this one a try, but it didn't, unfortunately, didn't hit as well. Um, oh, this should actually be on this side, because this is a sci-fi also. I love this book. I read this when I was really young, and I recently picked it up again, and loved it again, even in my reread as an adult, so I had to get this one, if you haven't heard of it, Air Apparent, by Vivian Van Die Velde. Hope I read that right. Love this one. I got The Breach of Peace by Daniel Green on YouTube. Legends and Lattes. Love this book. I also love Spinning Silver, Electra, Crown of Thorns and Sorcery. Oh, sorry. Crown of Feathers and Sorcery of Thorns. I didn't care for as much. So not so much of these three, but these, these ones here, gold. So I actually got this from my in-laws. Um, I think it actually lights up. Let me see. Oh, probably needs a battery change, but it does light up. Super cute. Moving on down. So this is actually my first shelf of unread books. I got Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. I think I heard about this from Books of Brittany, so I got that. The Blade itself, I mean, everybody talks about Joe Abercrombie's books, so I got the first book from the First Law Trilogy. Hoping to get to that soon. I got Children of Time. Look at this. This one is a thick boy. I got that. Um, I got the first book in the Witcher series. I recently just watched the, the series, the first two seasons on Netflix, and I really liked it. So I'm even more motivated to read this one when I get to it. Ninth Rain, I heard about from Elliot Brooks. Um, I started it. You can see there's a bookmark in there but just wasn't feeling it at the time so i decided to put it down for now um this i also got as a gift um from my boss my previous boss um the fellowship of the ring two towers the return of the king i love these editions like look at them these covers are so nice so i hope i can get to that i think i read part of the fellowship of the ring but didn't continue i got the second book Maybe the, oh yeah, it's the sequel to House Moving Castle. I really loved that one, like I mentioned earlier, but I haven't gotten to this one yet. Um, these are the next two books in the um, Peter and the Starcatchers series that I have not gotten to. Um, I got Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Maybe I should put that over here, but another Jay Kristoff I still need to get to. Reflection, this is one of the Twisted Tale novels from Disney. Um, it's the Mulan one, so I'm excited to get to that. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I really love Strange the Dreamer, so I wanted to read um, more of Lainey Taylor's works. Fireborn by Rosaria Munda. This is also another recommendation by Elliot Brooks. Crescent City. Um, the first book, House of Earth and Blood. I bought this used, so that's why it's missing the dust jacket. But I know quite a few booktubers who... Um, love Sarah J Mass, and I I enjoyed A Court of Thorns and Roses didn't really enjoy Throne of Glass so I guess we'll see where I land for this one The Guinevere Deception I got this so long ago I actually got both of these two a long time ago and I'm not sure if I'm still interested in reading them 
but I've kept them on here just in case. And um, this is basically my unread fantasy and sci-fi shelf. Right, moving on down. So this is my second shelf of unread books. Um, I guess I'll start here on the left. I got Lovely War recommended to me by uh, Haley from Haley and Bookland. But I haven't gotten to that yet. I got a nonfiction Beyond Beautiful. I should really stop pulling out all of these. It's, it's too much. This is a series I read in middle school that I've tried to reread. Um, I got through the first four, but haven't got through the rest of these yet. But I, as you can see, I bought all of them, so I better get to it. It's the, the Click series by Lissy Harrison. Uh, the Five Love Languages was a gift. Um, I really like the Heartstopper series so i'm on i'm waiting for the third volume to come in so that i can read the fourth one after then i got loveless by alice oseman also um i'm actually really excited to read this one i'm still surprised i haven't gotten to it yet it's american royals it's one of the few contemporaries i have at the moment um over here i got wilder girls wolf by wolf i've had these for a while haven't really felt like reading them don't know if i will we'll see this is a recent book I got the Invisible Monsters remix uh, recommended by Haley Hughes. She said this is interesting because you'll start on a certain chapter and then at the end it tells you to like read like not in chronological order. Like it'll tell you to skip to like chapter seven or something and then you read it all mixed up. So that sounded really interesting. So I wanted to get to that. Um, I really love the Sherlock Holmes movies and series. So I wanted to give the books a try it's the first one i got the adventures of sherlock holmes haven't gotten to it yet i'm just waiting for i guess for to be in the mood to read it um yesterday by felicia yap that was recommended to me by one of my followers on ig uh haven't gotten to it yet house of leaves oh my gosh this one i'm a bit intimidated because i know a lot of people that have tried to read it and didn't get through it but I am determined that I have to at least give it a decent shot. So I am just gathering up my courage to get into that one. And then the last unread book I have on the shelf is Imaginary Friend by Stephen Shavosky. I'll get to that eventually, hopefully. And then the one decoration piece I have on here. So beautiful. And then look at that. So I'm a Ravenclaw. So some of my items are Ravenclaw and some of them are Hufflepuff. Just in case anybody was wondering about that random information. All right, two more shelves to go. Moving on down. Okay, my phone battery is about to die, so I gotta get through these last two shelves. Um, so this is my contemporary shelf, mostly. It's, you can probably tell because it's the most colorful one on my whole bookcase. Um, over here, I got Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love Taylor Jenkins Reid's books. I think I've loved everything she wrote except for maybe Daisy Jones and the Six, which still was pretty good. I just didn't like it as much as her other ones. So Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, still my favorite. And then I recently read Carrie Soto's Back and I love this one. Um, ooh, My Dark Vanessa. I read this like way back in like 2020 when I first got back into reading. This is a really dark book. You can see, like, I had a lot to say about it. If you haven't read it, maybe you should look into it. Um, I got the orange collection. I got one, two, and the, I guess, the future book. I really love this, this manga. I'm so glad I read it. Um, I'm currently on volume three of Heartstopper. I'm just waiting for that to come in. Definitely going to be continuing this one. I read the To All the Boys I Loved Before trilogy when I watched the series on Netflix. So I actually kind of enjoyed these books. I think I like the books better than I like the movies. I mean, yeah, I think so. Pretty safe to say. Um, before I fall, I got this as a gift like a long time ago. The Black Friend is a good nonfiction. Oh, I really love the codex. That was a good one. Then, of course, it ends with us and it starts with us by Colleen Hoover. Love those two. And then those are the rest of the click series that I have finished. So, yeah, this is my colorful contemporary slash nonfiction shelf. Thankfully, there's not much to say about this last shelf. As you can see, it's not books. It's a full... Oh, my gosh. These are all my journals. 
some of them i've had since i was in junior high through high school so these journals here and then the rest of these are planners um before i switched to digital planning i was into bullet journaling and then i have some more journals from college um some blank uh notebooks to write in later when i decide what to write it in and then i have some boxes that i just use to store some bookish things over there and then lastly in the very bottom is the bible i got from my wedding when i got when we got married and that's it thank you guys so much for joining me on my first bookshelf tour even though i only have two bookcases that was definitely tiring you can probably see i'm shining a little from the effort it was a journey but i'm glad i have this video log of all the books that i currently have right now in 2023 and i'm so excited to sh see my shelves grow and to get more books read more books and put all of my favorite ones on oh i guess on these shelves or in this room so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Bye.